Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ, Radio Sond. I looked up Sond, I thought it was French for sound. Apparently it's probe, so it's a radio probe. What we in the old days used to call a weather balloon. So I don't know where this Radio Sond bit came in. Anyway, it's a weather balloon, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. What it is, it's basically a balloon, goes up in the air, and on the end of it is a load of electronics. And it sends back to the ground station or stations a load of information, temperature, pressure, wind, whatever else, humidity, stuff like that. And uh, they belong to the Met Office. But if you find one, because what they do is they go up uh, with the balloon. When they get to a certain height, I did hear that they start off the balloon about five feet diameter and it can stretch to about 20 feet because obviously as it goes up, the outside pressure decreases. So the inside pressure is relatively more, if you see what I mean, and it expands and eventually goes bang. When it goes bang, it then starts coming down, but a parachute opens, just like that. And it drifts down, obviously taken by the wind, and they land somewhere. Now, what got me into this? I've known about them for some time. What got me into it recently was a friend of mine, Roy. He tracked one and it landed north of our town just near the downs, over the downs over there. And he found it. There's a picture of it. He actually found it and uh, took it home, which you are allowed to do. You don't have to return it to the Met Office or anything. They transmit data between 400 megs and 406 megs. Uh, you'll see on the uh, video clip I'm about to show you that, uh, that it shows the frequency that whichever one you're tracking is transmitting on. They also transmit on 1.68 gigs. I do monitor that, but I've never heard anything there. So I don't know, um, perhaps they just use those in other countries or something. I've never seen one operating up there in this country, in the UK. So have a look at this quick video. This is uh, a one being tracked. Um, if you find it, it's about five minutes long. I've edited the video because it was about 20 minutes. So I've cut it right down. If you find it boring, just whiz on to the next bit. Then you'll see me again and I can bore you even further. I don't know whether you can see this very well. There's the balloon. It's going up, so it's not a parachute, it's a balloon. That will change to a parachute when it comes down. It's at 95,000 feet there, uh, minus 47 centigrade. Battery voltage 2.7, and it's over, where is it over? Linton, there's Minehead, look, Exmoor National Park, there's Minehead. 96,000 feet, there we are. And the balloon hasn't burst yet. So it's doing well. 96,000 feet, minus 47C. I want to see it reach 100,000. <laughs> 96,500. That's a long way up, isn't it? What's that in miles? I don't know. The humidity is 0.2%, 0.2%. So very dry up there as I suppose it would be with no air. 98,000 feet minus 44.3 C. So it's still rising. 403.3 megs it's transmitting on. 98,559 feet. 99,000 feet up. Good grief. 100,000 feet. There we are. Minus 43.800,000 feet. That's 101,000 feet now, travelling horizontally at 24.4 miles an hour. 20, oh, 28 miles an hour, keeps updating. Relative humidity, 0.2%. External temperature, minus 44.1 C. Relative humidity, 0.1%, 102,000 feet. I'm going to edit this video recording because it will be ages otherwise before you see anything. I'm determined to get the, the video when the balloon bursts and it starts descending on its parachute. 103,000 feet now. That's a long way up. I don't know whether you can see, but that little squidge there, I think, is where the balloon bursts, where they predict that it will burst. And if you follow this line, it goes off the screen here, but... Um, that's where they predict it will land at the end of that line. This is where it's come from. This green line here, these green lines that keep popping up, there's one there. 
that's receiving stations which are shown here received two seconds ago it keeps changing it tells you who's received it so who's updating this uh, this data the battery voltage on board is 2.7 humidity is still oh no 0.2 percent the temperature is minus 43.1 seems to have settled around about minus 43 degrees centigrade 106,000 feet high traveling at 52 miles an hour 53 50 horizontally coming up to the balloon bursting point there predicted balloon bursting point the relative humidity now is zero percent and it's 110,000 feet high temperature oh minus 38 it's getting warmer minus 37 it's getting warmer up there into space 111,000 feet humidity zero horizontal speed 61.4 miles an hour no 78 98 oh it keeps changing traveling at 55 miles an hour horizontally 114,000 feet minus 38 C 115,000 feet 116,000 feet minus 38 C traveling at 38 miles an hour horizontally ah change to the parachute the balloon has burst 114,000 112 110 minus 38 C 108,000 so it did well it got to a good height the radio signal wasn't too strong from uh, from that here's a little video of the radio signal on i'm using an sdr that's the one over cornwall there come up strong now that's the french one i'll just click to that one for you on a second that's france 404 megs cornwall 403.3 megs there's a, a photo of the French one whizzing over northern France somewhere. They're all around the world, these things. Have a look at the web uh, the website. It's sondhub.org. S-O-N-D-E-H-U-B. Sondhub.org. And uh, it's pretty good. As I say, they're all around the world, these balloons. I think, that, was it, someone said there's 700 or something around the world up at any one time. I might be lying there, don't... Uh, don't quote me on that but have a look at the website it's really good and if you can listen between 400 and 406 megs um, see what you can hear you won't hear them obviously if they're too far away I think they're only milliwatts the transmitters on board are only milliwatts Roy when he tracked this one down he saw it go down but he couldn't see where it landed he had a handheld receiving it on that and as he got closer he took the aerial off because it was so strong and then he did a bit of sort of direction finding and he found it, which was uh, which was great. So, um, as I said, I want one. Anyway, I'm still learning. I'm very new to this. So I you know, I don't know what I'm talking about, basically, <laughs> as you've probably gathered. Uh, as I learn more, I'll let you know. Oh, go to the web. Uh, I made a web page. If you go to G4NSJ, Gulf of November, Sarah Juliet, G4NSJ.co.uk. Click on main menu and then down the bottom somewhere is the Radio Sond uh, link to the page. G4NSJ.co.uk And in the meantime, if you are going to take this up or if you're already doing this and you've got any info, let me know. It'd be great to hear from you. Anyway, hope that wasn't too boring. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye for now.